Right, back from home bargains. Um, and I'll just show you. And actually, I, I didn't do too bad. I was going in there anyway to get my regular shopping. And then I bought some Christmas bits, as you do. But I could have bought a hell of a lot more. Um, and I'm really surprised that the shelves were full up. And there was still the, um, the, the uh, home bargains staff in there. Boxes everywhere. They're just stocking up. But there's like, the shelves are full up. Where are they putting all this stuff? I was really surprised. Um, and I noticed that when I went to, um, oh my God, what's the other one? The range. Um, I, I popped in there. I can't remember what I went in there for, um, but I went in there for something particular. I think it was spray paint. It was, it was spray paint. And, um, and I thought, I'm not gonna buy any Christmas bits, but I'm just gonna go and have a look. And I was expecting the shelves to be empty with the Christmas stuff. Well, they were full up. I'm really surprised because the prior, the last couple of times um, at the Christmas period, people were going, you know, going in there and the stock, the shelves were becoming empty and you couldn't get anything. But this year, completely different. Whether or not it's because people are trying to rein in and not spend so much money, I'm one of those. So I'm being extremely careful with what I buy now. Um, yeah, maybe it's that. But anyway. Go and grab yourselves a little drink because we've got kind of a little mini home bargains haul and then we're, I'm doing the collab with Claire. So pop over to her channel as well and look at her video because she's doing the wreath for the raffle and I'm going to be doing the garland. Um, I've already prepared the garland. It's on the stairs and I'm just going to add some stuff in it and we'll see what colours we um, come up with together. But I'll talk more of that after we've done the home bargains bit. So go and grab yourselves a drink, get comfy and we'll crack on. Right, so what I thought we'd do, instead of me going in the bag and going, right, now how much is this and looking down my receipt, I'm going to actually go by the receipt. So the first thing I bought was a wooden, it's called a wooden pine cone reef. Um, I've got, I did take footage while I was in there, so I've got lots of video clips as well uh, to give you some ideas of what decorations are in there and lots of photographs. So I'll, I'll pin all that up as well. But I really liked this. And I thought for $7.99, I think it's a 20 inch. Let me check. Oh, it don't say. 22 inch, yes it does on the receipt. It's a real rustic um, reframe. And I, yeah, I, I really like this. I, I, I'm kind of thinking, yeah, Nick, I can add some more stuff in here. I can add a lovely big bow on the top. In fact, I'm even thinking of not having it that way, but having it that way or that way, either or, and really filling this out even more. But for $7.99, if you're a reef maker, this is a perfect base. Or even if you're getting started in doing um, reefs, this is a perfect base for $7.99. It's proper wood. Um, it, yeah, it's brilliant. I think that's really good value for money. So it's 22 inches. So that's the first thing I've got. Well, one of the things. Okay, next on my list, I picked up these um, Christmas hats. Now I make, I do swags with these, so I fill them with decorations and things like that, and they they just come out absolutely lovely. And if you haven't seen um, seen them, then go onto my my page. I'll link I'll link in the description for you how you know the, the swags because they look really nice. I hang them from the TV unit. They look brilliant. Anyway, so these are really nice quality. They were $1.99. Now, I know you can get the ones in the pound shop, obviously, for a pound. They're very, very thin. So depending on what you're going to do with them, if you're going to craft with them, I would definitely go for these ones. They are thick. The material's thick. The fur, the fur is thick. Nice big pom-pom on the end. Very good value for money, I think these are. And these, you know, to do the swags with are absolutely perfect. And they're quite long as well. So they were, what did I say they were? They were $1.99. So I picked up two of these. But what I'm going to do with these as well is I'm going to make them as like a stocking filler, if you like. Um, and I'll come onto the bits what I'm going to fill them with. And these are four. Uh, I need to get, I think I picked up, yeah, I picked up three. Um, for the three older grandchildren, obviously not for Georgie boy because he's only six, not even six months yet. Um, so Alfie, Maya and Dolly, Dolly dudes. Um, and I'm going to kind of fill them with not toys, 
but like um, sweet type things. But I'll, I'll, I'll come onto that and show you what I'm going to do. So that's my idea for them. I'm, the, I'm going to give these to them on Christmas Eve. So instead of giving them Christmas Eve box, they're going to have Christmas Eve ham uh, hampers. <laughs> Christmas Eve hats. So that's what I'm doing with those. I've got the other one somewhere. Um, so that was the hats. Hang on a minute. Let me go down the list. Right now. Hang on. Let me find these. So I've got these. These are called bendy rollers. There's 12 in a pack and they're one, 129. What was that? Hang on. Might be posting. Wait a minute. It's okay. Something fell down in the other room and I wondered what it was. Um, anyway, so... Yeah, so these are those what you put in your hair. So they're called J London Bendy Rollers. Now, I've been watching a couple of uh, tutorials on YouTube and the lady was making, I've been following her now, I've subscribed to her channel and, I, and her name, oh my God, what is it? Patty J, oh, good is it? I can't think, but anyway, I'll find a link and I'll put it down below as well. And she makes the little gnomes, which I believe over here we call them gonks. Over in America, they call them, just call them gnomes. So she makes them and she makes like the legs from um, foam and stuff like that. Anyway, and I thought these would make brilliant legs because I'm going to try and make these myself, these little gnomes, when I get round to it. And I just thought these foam, because I've got wire in the middle, are going to act as little legs. <laughs> little legs. Um, so I picked up those over 129. So that's from one of my craft projects. Uh, 129 I said didn't I what else have I got on here I picked up some birthday cards uh, I picked up a couple of presents which I'm not going to show because obviously I need to keep those a secret um, bauble packs 5.99 41 pieces in a pack which are these ones yep um, silver 41 41 baubles in there for 5.99 and I picked a pink one up as well because I've got lots of um, arrangements to make people want pink so I picked up a bunch of those Ooh, in the pink colour as well quite a pretty colour actually some of them look like a bit of a rose gold colour as well which are those ones but for, for 5 99 you get 41 ball balls I thought that's quite good value for money so I picked up a couple of those um let's work the way down the list 12 pack trend baubles right now which was these now i don't know if anybody realizes but in home bargains well in my home bargains on the end of an aisle at the back of the store we've the two ends actually they have a clearance section and normally you'd walk past it and wouldn't take any notice but i started to look and i thought Oh, they've got some real good bargains on here. So I picked up these. The original price was £6. I think Claire from Polly Put the Pet One also shared these in gold, I think. five ninety nine for 12 ball balls. And they're a really nice kind of marbly effect. But these were down to £2 because some are missing. So when I worked out the price for each one, they, they worked out a 24p a ball ball, um, which was much better value than buying them at 5 99 if that makes sense. So even if you bought two of these boxes for 199 it's still better value than buying a whole box at 5 99 all because there's a couple missing. Do you see what I'm saying? So I picked up those because I thought that was good value for money. I'll, I'll get one out and just show you. They're like silver marbly, but they've got a tiny little gold. I don't know if you can see. If I bring it closer, can you see? Here, just along here, it's like gold. Quite pretty. Uh, so different colour metallics. So, because I'm going with the different colour metallics, the golds, the silvers, the pewters, uh, you know, they're kind of gold. They will go with my theme. So they're going on my tree when that comes out, which will be this week or next week. <laughs> Right, so that's those balls, and they're called they're called trend ball balls. They did have a few boxes, but I rang myself in a thought, no, I don't need all these ball balls, even though they're one ninety nine and there was a bargain. I stood back and just thought, no, I'm just going to get the one. 
So they did have a few in there. Um, jumping stakes. The little jumping stakes are these. You get four in a packet and they're 129. And I picked up two boxes of those. I use these on reefs. They're brilliant to go on reefs. Um, and I picked up a silver pack and the red pack. And as I say, they are 129. Um, we've got butterfly kit clip decorations, wherever that one is. Oh no, where's the butterfly gone? Oh, here it is. This I thought was really pretty. It's 199 and let me spread it out a little bit first so I can show you. It is quite big. It's got double layers. And I thought this was, you know, for 199, I thought it was quite good actually. Um, there's a little bit, the top part of the body is fell apart. Look at that. So actually, that's not that great a value for money because I can see what they've done. Let me show you. So the body is polystyrene. I mean, it's easily remedied because I can just put hot glue in it. And what they've done, they've made a slit here in the polystyrene. They've obviously done the bows and they've hot glued it because you can see the glue on here as well and pushed, made a slit and pushed it in and glued it. So, you know, you can remedy it and I can glue it back again. But as you can see underneath, it's just got a big gap in it, which is not ideal. Um, so what I'd recommend you do is go and look at them first <laughs> before you go and pick it up off the shelf. But to, I do like it. I think it's very pretty. I didn't see any other colours in there. I just saw the silver. Um, and once I've fiddled about with that and it and jazz it up a little bit more, it, it'll be fine, absolutely fine. But it's quite a big butterfly, it's very pretty. So that one, I told you the price on that, didn't I? It was $1.99. Okay, let's work our way down. Um feather picks. These were $1.49 each, and I think these are very good value for money as well. They've got little little bits coming off of them. You've got one, two, three sprigs, which you can separate. So again, if you're a crafter, you can separate these. You cut them, cut them down, cut them down, cut them down, and you've got three sprigs out of one stick. So I picked up, I wish they'd had other colours as well, because I really do like these. And I picked up um, three. So I picked up a couple of those, three of those. So I thought they were good for I'm getting glitter up my nose now, I can feel it. Rub, I've got to rub my nose. Um, so that's them. These I actually thought were quite good as well. So these are called candy string lights. They're 2 99 but I'm not using them as a candy string light. You get 10 warm uh, the LED lights. They're on a candy, called a candy string. But what if you are doing, you know me, I'm thinking outside the box here. Let me open it. If you are doing candy cane themed decorations, you, you can get two decorations out of these. So what you would do, well, I'm hoping we can do it. I'm going to have a little look. I would take these off of here. If you can, I may have to play around with this. Oh, I can quite easily. And use these for your candy cane theme, and then you've got satellites as well. So you've got two decorations in one, and on there you have ten, ten of these. Now, if you went on Etsy, and I'll see if I can find them, and I'll link the details for Etsy, and you bought something like this off of Etsy. I would imagine for 10 of that size, you're probably looking at maybe 10 quid. I'm, I'm thinking, I don't know, but I will look and I'll link everything so you can just see. So if you're thinking of doing this kind of decoration, you want to use little, little peppermint, the rounds, they're perfect, absolutely perfect. So I picked up those because obviously I'm thinking outside the box. Thinking, well, I've got a set of lights and I've got a set, set of candy canes, peppermints rather the round ones. So that's down our list. Right, okay, so let's keep going. What else have we got on here? So we've done the um, the feather picks, we've done the candy string lights. Um, two pack of acrylic deck. What does that mean? Two pack 
oh these the stakes i think these are the stakes so 199 let's just check they're acrylic for two stakes so it's a pound each but i thought they're quite pretty and they will go with my decor as well um what else let's go down a bit more Come on. i've got I've got I've even got glitter in here a little well a little bit let me just quickly put my finger over there get it off um I'm talking so much I've got dry throat um what else where are we uh poinsettias so I picked up a couple of these my mum loves the the, the reds and the golds and the proper traditional and she's going to be doing um with me, we're going to be doing a video on um, traditional Christmas wreaths for gravestones. Um, you know, we've got our family over the cemetery um, and my mum does wreaths every year. Every year she does wreaths um, to put on the graves. Um, and uh, she maintains, I mean, bless her, she's, you know, what, she's 77, my mum, half blind um, in one eye. And uh, she does them every year, goes over and dresses all the, the, the gravestones up. And she tidies everybody else's up and she doesn't even know. But she can't stand an untidy cemetery. So that's what she does. She just walks around. If she sees someone's gravestone or grave, you know, the, uh, the plot, if you like, um, and it looks untidy, she'll go and tidy it up. <laughs> anyway. So we picked up, or I picked up a couple of these for when we do the um, the holly wreaths to go on the graves. So we picked up two of those, and I think, what did I say they was? One, was they 99p each? They were 99p each. Okay, next, let's get on to the next one. Um, Santa Shay, oh no, they're the, okay, I picked up some cards. Um, I quite like their cards in there. They're quite good value for money. And I picked up a selection um 59p for that size which i don't think is too bad at all um 59 oops 59 you know loads of different ones for that size um you know and they're probably the same price in the uh card factory but i was in there so i picked up a few from there so they were they're quite good value for money and they've got really nice um ones in boxes as well for 129 so they're, they're quite pretty as well Right, that's that bag. Let's chuck that out of the way a moment. Um, what else have we got here? So, back over to here. I've got a few more bits to show you. So we've got, I've picked up a box of these, but I can't see them on here. Uh, the pink ball balls to go with the other pink set. And there's 34 in a packet. 34 in a packet, 199. There you go. So you've got 34 in a packet, and they're the little one, the little mini ball balls. So they're gonna go with the pink ones over there. Reef hangers, I always obviously because I do lots of reefs. So I always pick up a handful of reef hangers, and they had lo absolutely loads in there. I actually picked up some white ones this year as well. They used to be 69p, then they're 99p, and they do gold, silver, obviously white. Um they did have green at one point, but anyway, um, they did have them this time. So that's that bag done, the reef hangers. And a couple of other bits I bought um, foodie-wise was those hazelnuts, which I ate in the car. Very Moorish. They're on another receipt, actually. <laughs> I picked up a box of these called White Kisses. Now, I love... Um, you know those tea 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 cakes what you get and they're like a um a crumb base biscuit base then they've got like the marshmallow a bit on the top and then they're covered in chocolate like a dome but the marshmallow is like walnut whip marshmallow that that kind of marshmallow and that's what these are they're white with the uh, walnut whip filling in them so i thought oh let's give those a go and see what they taste like they're called they're called foam kisses with white coating. There you go. I can't remember how much they was. One, one. They was under two quid anyway. How much you get in there? You get. Oh, you only get nine, so they must be quite big. They must be quite big. Um, going on to biscuits, shortbread. Love shortbread, as you know. 
um, I've picked up these as well, salted caramel mixed nuts. Now with these, I love nuts anyway, and they're very, very sweet, but what I like to taste is the actual nut, and I couldn't taste the hazelnut. Obviously, it's crunchy, so you know it's a nut, but there's no taste to it. Um, I'd like a bit more salty. I might, might sprinkle a bit of salt. Um, and then I've got a different type of one. This is salted caramel, peanuts, almonds with caramel pieces. So they might be probably a little bit more of a mixture between your salt and um, salt and sweet, or sweet and salt, whatever you want to say it. So uh, salted caramel, those ones. And then the last bits I'm going to show you, two more bits, and then I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with those hats. Um, hairspray. I have been struggling to get hairspray, not for my hair to spray on glitter. Um, when in the pound shop, didn't have any. Oh, no, they, yes, they did, but it was like two pound for a small one. Where else did I go? Uh, Morrison's, I think. They did. I thought, is everyone buying hairspray or something? Or are they all thinking on my level, like, going to spray glitter to stop it from shedding everywhere? Um, so I, this was one ninety nine, and it was the only the cheapest one I could get, which was in there. And then... From Aldi, and then I'm going to divert back to Home Bargains, but just quickly, I'll just grab another mouthful. Um, Aldi, I, I, I like Baileys. I don't drink excessive amount of Baileys. Like, if I had a Baileys, I'd only have, like, a shot of it, and, that, and I'm done with that. But I like it in hot chocolate, and I like it in coffee. So going on the hot chocolate theme, this is a limited edition white chocolate Bailey's dupe, dupe <laughs> from Aldi. I think it was seven pounds. I'd like to say six ninety nine, something like that. It's as I say, it's the limited edition called Bailey Castle. Bailey Castle. I've had their ordinary, like Bailey's dupe, dupe um, from in there, and I did a tester with with everyone at Christmas a couple of years ago, and I did a shot of real Bailey's and a shot of Aldi's own make. And I made him see which one. And the only person who got it right was Sean. He knew straight away what was Bailey's and what wasn't, but no one else could tell the difference. Anyway, so this is white chocolate. I don't know what it's gonna taste like, but I'm definitely gonna try that and try it with in a white hot chocolate as well. So give that a go if you like a Bailey's and you want you don't wanna spend the, the money what an original Bailey's is give those the give that a go so that's that right now moving on quickly before we get into the garland otherwise we'll be here all day for the little Christmas Eve like staying in movie night that's what I'm thinking for the kids so I'm making I'm gonna make them like a little hot chocolate bag to put in there with some little sweets as well. So you remember when I got these from it, from Home Bargains, what was they, 49p each? So I've got a few, couple of those. I'm not gonna give that to Dolly because it's glass and obviously she's only two. What they've got in there is, these are Jane Asher Sprinkle Mix. See the shape of a Christmas tree and they are little candy cane bits. But what they've got in there as well is little mini gingerbread men. See if I can get one out at the minute. You can't read, I don't know if you can see from the angle, but can you see the little brown bits in there? They're the little gingerbread men. And you've got loads of little sprinkles on there, little little peppermints in there, um, little red baubles, little sprinkles. So what I'm doing is, in the little mini jars, I'm gonna fill those with marshmallows. You know, you can get the little mini marshmallows. Little mini marshmallows. And the sprinkles, I'm going to put them in there. I'm going to get another little, little, little bag. I'm going to get like a little, um, what they, what they call, like a little hessian bag, if you like. Little bag of them. I've got these festive marshmallows in there. I, I have to pick up the snowman one. I'm not going to get them out, but they're just marshmallows and they're in the shape of snowmen. So I'm going to put little miniature bags of those in there as well. I've got one of these white chocolate snowmen uh, bombs, are they called? And you put them in your hot chocolate and they melt and they've got marshmallows in them. 
So I'm going to have one of those in there each. They're little mini jars. I haven't got them, but I'm going to go and get from the pound shop the mugs. You know, the Christmas mugs there? Christmas mugs in there are really, really nice. In fact, I might have some footage as well. So if I have, I'll link that up there as well. Really nice. So I'm going to get one of those as well. Fill that with a little bag of hot chocolate because I've got a whole big tub of hot chocolate. Tip that in a little, little mini bag. Put that in the mug as well. That's going in there. The marshmallows and that. And then the last thing I'm going to do is some spoons. I'm going to, not plastic spoons, I'm going to go and get, I think the pound shop do them, the, the bamboo uh, reusable or recyclable spoons, wooden. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to melt the chocolate, which I've got here, a big bar of chocolate, dip them in there, let them go cold, put them in the fridge and let them set overnight. Or I can, in actual fact, I can sprinkle some little sprinkles over them as well. Wrap them in cellophane and they're going to go in there as well. So that's their dipping spoon when they're stirring their hot chocolate. So that's my aim for their little mini um, hot chocolate bag or whatever you like. Let me see if I can quickly... Ooh! Take off the little seal and see if I can show you the little mini... I can't get the thing off, minute. No. I wanted to try and show you the little mini, tiny little, no, I can't do it. I can't do it, but they are little witty gingerbread me. I don't know if they're made out of chocolate. Oh, look, right at the bottom, can you see? Right at the bottom there, they're little mini gingerbread men, tiny. I don't know if they taste of chocolate. I've no idea. Let me just read on the back. It doesn't say, but I will tell you, there are loads of colours in them. Loads of colours, E numbers, loads of them. Um, loads of sugar, obviously. So they're, they're probably not great colour-wise. I'm not, I'm not keen on getting kids stuck with colours in, but... It's Christmas and you're only going to put a few on the on the thing anyway, on the cups anyway. So right, done. We're done with that. I'm just looking, making sure I've covered everything. Well, folk, that's it for a little home bargains haul. Plenty of, plenty, plenty of stuff on the shelf. So if you get a chance, just pop down there. There's loads of stuff there. Uh, not just Christmas stuff, lots of home decor and bits and pieces. Anyway, folk, I hope you enjoyed the video for today. Um, I've had to cut myself short a little bit today and didn't end up saying goodbye while I was actually on the camera. Um, anyway, you take care and I'll see you soon. Bye.